Hello guys, welcome back to another video with me. Today I'm wanting to show you some incredible things that you can do with a very simple quinoa wrap. Two ingredients. So first I want to show you how I put these incredible quinoa wraps together. They are soft, pliable, versatile and packed full of protein and incredible for your health and for weight loss. So today I want to show you how to turn them into three different things, plus there's a bonus recipe at the end as well. If you're looking for a fantastic gluten-free wrap alternative, Stay tuned, let's do this. Okay, so let's get into this video. I'm super excited to show you the magic of quinoa, all the things that I can do with a quinoa wrap. They are so versatile and they're so delicious and I absolutely adore them. Quinoa is obviously incredible for your health, packed with protein, so much goodness in there. It's great to diversify your grains. So if you're not a fan of just eating plain quinoa, maybe mix it up and try some of these recipes instead. Okay, so... I, this morning, obviously, I have had to soak this bad boy. So I have soaked one and a quarter cup of quinoa with one cup of water. So that has been soaking um, for about three hours. So go for three hours or so. You can leave it a little bit longer if you wanted. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna rinse and drain this bad boy. When you soak the quinoa, it really um, gets rid of a lot of the bitter flavor, which is fantastic. Um, so make sure you give it a really good rinse. Okay, all rinsed and drained. I broke my sieve the other day, so I've actually just had to drain it with my hands trying to catch all the quinoa. So don't recommend that at all. Um, anyway, okay, let's whack this in our blender, shall we, people? So obviously you guys can turn this into something sweet or something savory. And at this point, you can add any extras to kind of change the flavour. Yeah, so you can whack any extras in here at this point. You could do a clove of garlic, you could do some nutritional yeast, you could do some maple syrup and cinnamon, you could really do anything you want to. I'm going to keep it on the plain side because I'm wanting to do some sweet and some savoury recipes, but it's totally up to you. So I'm just going to add one cup of water into here and I'm just going to blend this up until it's really nice, smooth and creamy. Um, and so you haven't got all, any, any chunks in there. We don't want chunks. Here we go with a cup of water. Okay, let's blend. Okay, so here we go. Really nice. And combined. So you're wanting like really kind of liquidy kind of texture. And that is perfect. Um, okay, so now this is the part where you're going to need some kind of really good non-stick pan. So I have got one, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I've got this really good non-stick pan that I just bought on Amazon. I'll try and find a link for you down below. I do loads of stuff on here. I do pancakes on here. I do like crispy tofu. It's just fantastic. It's really good to get a non-stick pan if you're gonna do loads of oil-free cooking. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna put this on medium heat. So I'm just gonna do mine on setting three. We want this on medium, not too high, otherwise it might burn it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this mixture sit for about five, 10 minutes, um, just to kind of like mm, get it going um, before we turn it into a little wrap. So yes, this will be very exciting because I absolutely love these. I haven't made them in ages and they are some of my favorites ever because they're just so versatile. Yay! Okay, so now we are ready to go. This is nice and hot. The way to check it's nice and hot is just by throwing some water on and get that sizzly sound going. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my mix. I'm gonna go in with a quarter cup at a time um, and I'll show you what I do. So I just pour it into the middle and then we're just gonna spread it out a little bit. Now, it's one of those things where the first couple might not be perfect. That's all right, it's like a pancake, isn't it? You just gotta keep going and wishing for the best. Anyway, so um, I will leave this on here for a couple of minutes until it's nice and um, cooked. Then I'm gonna flip it and do it on the other side. Um, and these babies come out beautifully. Okay, we've been a couple of minutes, so I'm just checking to make sure we're not stuck. Brilliant, and then we're just gonna flip it over to the other side. I like to give it a little squeeze down, just for fun, because I like the little sound that it makes. Okay, so we're just going to flip this bad boy over and that is looking very, very nice. So uh, we are so we are going to repeat this process until we have used all of the mix and then I will show you some really cool stuff that we can do with a lovely, simple quinoa wrap. The other thing I want to say is don't let these babies get too, too, too crispy. Otherwise, they won't be nice and like soft and like pliable and stuff. So you want them a little, I mean, you don't want them raw, obviously, but you don't want them like super, super, super crisp if you're wanting to use them for wrap purposes. Anyhow, right, I'm going to, I'm going to continue going. I could be here for some time. So that is the only, 
The only pain in the cheek about this recipe is that you obviously have to make all the wraps. Um, so that's all right. What you can do is do other stuff while you're in the kitchen. Make some breakfast, make some lunch, do some prep, or just like bounce around like I have been and like do a little workout or something. So anyway, yeah, so it's good. Okay guys, so I am, I'm still going here, I'm still going, but uh, we are nearly done. I've only got a few little ones left to do, but what I'm wanting to do is I've made them all kind of about this size, which is a good wrap size for me. You can do whatever size you fancy, but for one of the recipes, we're going to be turning it into a pizza, so I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to try it out with a half a cup measurement, um, so let's just see how this baby goes. Okay, so the big one turned out beautifully. Uh, and then I've actually got a million of these little babies. You can make a massive batch of this, stick it in the fridge or something, and then just pull it out when you want to use it. So anyway, these are fantastic. And also, I know they're kind of, in the beginning, they kind of feel a bit um, rigid, but actually they roll up so, so nicely and they become really soft and pliable, which is fantastic. And that's exactly what we're wanting in a lovely wrap. So anyway, these are obviously gluten-free, loaded with protein. I get so excited about quinoa wraps. Um, so right, okay, so now I'm gonna show you the three different things that I can do with a quinoa wrap. I mean, I'm sure there's loads more um, if I used my brain. But the first thing, obviously, is just turning it into a regular wrap. So I'm gonna do this in a kind of funky way. There used to be kind of a trend going on where you like do the quarters and put loads of things in and roll it up. That's my favorite way of doing it. I feel like you get a lot of it looks really funky, it's fun to hold, and you get a lot of different things in there. So that's what we're gonna do firstly. Second one we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into some like tortilla chip kind of vibes. So we're gonna slice this baby up, I'm gonna stick it in the air fryer, and we're gonna crisp it up. And the third thing is obviously the pizza, which is gonna be my lunch today, and I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna start off by doing the tortilla chips. So let's slice this bad boy up, and let's, um, let's, let's crisp it, let's crisp it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one of these babies. So we're just gonna slice it into kind of like tortilla shapes, okay? They're a little bit soft, so you kind of have to be a little bit gentle with them, but they do. Okay, so I've just turned this into little cute eighths there okay so i'm just going to lay them in my absolutely filthy air fryer um you can definitely clean your air fryer i just can't be bothered to be honest <laughs> um yeah so you could do like a bit of cumin on here you could do some chili powder you can literally go any way you fancy for me i'm just fancying keeping it quite nice and simple okay so when you lay these out in the air fryer, you do want them to be spread apart so that they're not on top of each other. So in that way, they crisp up really nicely. Okay, so let's add some sexy things onto here. So this is a very old lime I've got. So I'm gonna just try and squeeze some of this. Oh, it does still have some juice, fantastic. So I'm gonna squeeze this lime all over to give it some really good zesty flavor. And then I go in with garlic salt. You can just do uh, regular salt or none at all. I try not to go overboard on this. Um, and then I just fancy giving it a little something else. So a little bit of smoked paprika on the top, sprinkly, sprinkly, there we go. Easy does it. Right, so I'm just gonna whack this in the air fryer. I'm not sure how long for, but I'll let you know down below how long it actually ends up being. Let's crisp these up, shall we? Okay, so please excuse all the noise in the background, but we are gonna pizza up one of these bad boys. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay it on my, oh, pizza dish. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this pizza super simple and basic, just to give you an idea of what you can do. So I'm gonna go in with some squeezy tomato, first and foremost. This is my super version of like a lazy pizza. Um, you can obviously eat regular oil-free pizza bases when you are eating starch solution style, but I love to mix it up. So I do like um, a potato base, the quinoa base is really fun. Yeah, you can get really creative with what you want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it simple like that. I'm going to go in with a bit more garlic salt because I love garlic salt and um, I feel like it makes everything taste a little bit sexy. I've also got some dried oregano over here. So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of that. Okay, now this is the controversial bit. I don't know how you guys feel, but you can do a lovely potato-y, carroty, cheese sauce thing 
but I much prefer to have hummus on my pizza. It's got the same kind of creamy vibe. You get loads of extra protein in there and I just think it tastes more delicious. So I'm gonna go in with some hummus. So I'm gonna do some nice splops of hummus on the top. There we go, one for good measure over there. And they kind of look like little mozzarella blobs, which I think is quite cute as well. I do have some very sad leftover basil, so I'm actually just gonna chop this up and I'm gonna whack it on to give it a little extra goodness. Go in with your favorite pizza toppings. Actually, saying that, I'm gonna add a little sweet corn because I love sweet corn in my pizza. Um, right, so there we go with a little bit of basil. Okay, and just a little bit of sweet corn. Okay, so I'm gonna whack this in the oven. I'm gonna put it on high heat. I'm not quite sure how long I'm gonna put it on for. Again, I will let you guys know down below. Um, but um, we want it to be nice and high. And I don't know how this is gonna work out because I've never done a pizza like this before, but I think it's gonna be fun. Let's go pop this on. Okay, so the final thing we're gonna do is gonna turn this into a lovely wrap. Okay, so the way I like to do it is I like to just kind of put a little line there so we can kind of fold this baby up. And then I'm just gonna layer on my toppings. So I love a bit of hummus. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hummus on this little square here. You could go refried beans, you could go whatever you fancy. I am a hummusy gal. So put a hummus on there. I then just got some simple tomato. I'm going to put my tomato in here. And I've got some lovely leafies that I need using up that are in my fridge, so I'm just going to layer them out um, so they can kind of peek out of the top, which should be quite cute. Um, uh, lastly, I'm going to go in with a little bit of sauerkraut because I love the flavour of a sauerkraut in a wrap. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of sauerkraut here. This is where the magic happens. Hopefully I don't mess it up. So we just do a quick fold. Oh, let me show you. So we do a quick fold over there. You guys know the drill. Quick fold over there. And finally, a quick fold over there. Okay, so that is a super tasty and incredibly healthy starch solution friendly wrap. Loads and loads of goodness in there. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so the tortilla chips are now out. <clears throat> and look how crispy and delicious that is. Um, you could obviously make loads of them. You could do them in the oven. You don't have to do it in an air fryer, but they are super, super delicious. Listen to this, listen to this crunch. Mm. Oh, that's a great dunking opportunity right there. In hummus, guacamole would be great. Um, some kind of tofu mayo would be lovely. Mm. Mm. I've got a fantastic crunch. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're gonna go in with a little bit of... Mm. Yummy, everything's better with hummus, am I right? I've just decided to put on another batch of, batch of these chips because they are so delicious and I know I'm gonna wanna eat loads. Okay, so we have my little Rami back with me as a special helper. I wanted to show you a little bonus recipe, which is an easy throw together, which is a great snack for the kids. So let's quickly whip this baby up. Don't eat the banana, you right muffin. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn this into a really quick kind of sweet sushi. We're gonna do a peanut butter chocolate sauce that we throw together with three ingredients put a banana in the middle and roll it up and call it a day and it's going to be delicious. So let's first start off by, Rami's going to help me make this lovely chocolate sauce. Rami, do you want to hold this lovely spoon? Yeah. And do you want to do a little bit of sprinkle, sprinkle? Yeah. So we're going to do like a tablespoon or so of cocoa powder. Pop it in, good girl. And then, do you want to have some of this, Rams? Look, do a little scoop of that. And I do a little bit of PB2 powder to make it nice and... Thick. And we're going to go in with a bit of maple syrup. Oh, do you want to get your spoon out like this, Peanut? Ready, steady, Oi, maple syrup. And now, Romy, we're going to do a mixy mixy. So you help Mummy do a lovely mix. 
fantastic. So you've got your cocoa, your PB2, and a bit of maple syrup. And this is my easy go-to chocolate sauce. Um, obviously, you can leave out the PB2 if you just want it to be not peanut buttery, um, but I like it. It gives an extra thickness, and who doesn't love peanut butter? So anyway, this comes together really nicely. I am just gonna quickly give it a little tiny splash of water before we continue. Um, you could leave it that thick, but Romy, should we do a little splash of water? Look ready. Tiny splash. Right, a little tiny splash of water. You can go in with some plant milk just to loosen it up ever so slightly. Okay. Mommy, do you want to give it a lovely mix? Okay. You give it a lovely mix. Fantastic mixing. Right, now we are going to get one of these quinoa wraps and we're going to spread our... Romy, can you put the chalky sauce on? Okay. Romy, put the chalky sauce on. We're going to go back, 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 back. And then, look, we're going to spread like this. Ooh, does that look yummy? Are you a bit excited? Yeah, yeah, you go for it. You get in there, girl. Get in there, girl. Oh, now hold on. Then we're going to put our banana, aren't we, Romy? So this is a great one for kids to help out with. Um, I'm going to let her lick that because I don't really want her eating all of this mix. Um, then you take a nibbled banana and you put it in the middle. Just like that. And then, Romy, look, Mummy's going to show you. Put your banana in, and then we're just going to roll it up. So we're just going to roll that baby up. And then you can slice it. You can either eat it like this, or you can slice it up like a little sushi, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put it on a plate for Rom. Yeah, and look how cute that is. That is a super delicious, great, easy snack for kids or for grown-ups too, obviously. For anybody who fancies a little pick-me-up, you don't have to go chocolate sauce. You could literally just put a banana in there. You could just put regular old peanut butter in there. You can just do anything that you fancy. Um, but yes, it's a good opportunity for getting in some extra quinoa where you would usually use a wrap. Rami, does this look beautiful? Rami, what do you think? Is it beautiful, boo-boo? Yeah. Okay, bonus recipe for you guys. Quick and easy little snack. Okay, so pizza is fresh out the oven. I'm just gonna transfer this baby onto here. Romy, hold on, sweet pea. You could put it on a silicone little sheet or something if you're worried about it sticking. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's get you up here properly. Hot, 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 baby girl. So that is our quick and simple quinoa wrap. Okay, fine, it wasn't that quick, but it's simple, healthy, and absolutely delicious. And if you already had loads of quinoa wraps made up, it would be very quick. Anyway, okay, are, you, are you excited about the pizza? <laughs> right, um, so yeah, there we go. So now I hope you can see that you can do loads of stuff with a simple quinoa wrap. You can do a regular wrap, you can do a pizza, you can do a tortilla chip, and you can do a sweet little something something. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more recipes. I'm gonna be coming out with them every single Monday. Whole food, plant-based, quick and simple, great for weight loss and your health. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Stick around and I'll see you next time. Let's see what Romy thinks of this bad boy. Here you go, Roms. You wanna eat that one? Go for it, Roms. Get involved. Okay, let's have a little sneaky taste, shall we? I'm gonna go for this bad boy. Mm. Oh yeah. Very delicious. Do you, do you love it? Fantastic. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Let's taste the rest of the stuff, shall we? Hold on, hold on. Okay. So first we've got these incredible limey tortillas. Mmm. I'm hoping you guys can hear that crunch. These are actually so darn delicious. Oh my God, that is incredible. Mm. Then, Romy, do you want to have a little taste? Yeah. Okay, come here then, babes. Do you want to have a little taste of this bit? Good girl. Then we're gonna have a little taste of this wrap. Mm. Oh yum. Mm. That nice, oh, you know it's good if a kid likes it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, we need to try this pizza, don't we? Yeah? I like to chop my pizza up with scissors. Controversial, maybe. 
Super simple and easy, heck yeah. Okay, so let's get into this bad boy. So here is my pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely delicious, oh my God. Okay, so it's not a super, super crunchy pizza. That's all right. Mmm. The ends are crunchy, but it's got total pizza vibes. Mm. Mm. Definitely try some new recipe out because I did it amazing. <laughs> 